Good afternoon, it's Pete at Bishes RV of the Quad Cities once again. And yep, we got another grand design to go through with you today. This one's the Solitude, a 2023 Solitude model number 390RK. And this fresh off the assembly line 2023 unit is presented to you by Bishes RV of the Quad Cities. Okay, we'll start as we always do here with the front aerodynamic swept one piece fiberglass cap there with awesome embedded LSD lighting that's in behind there. Those are really cool, especially if you see them by night. Moride pin box. And down under here in the four store, we've got a whole heaping of spaghetti down here. Maybe some fettuccine too, I don't know. Uh, at any rate, you also have your solar charge controller. We've got some upgraded solar equipment that comes on this unit as well. Battery in the box underneath there. All right, and there's some cool lighting too, by the way, underneath the slide outs. We'll take a wide angle view here from the off side. And yeah, yeah, there's slide outs here. I don't know, about 72 of them on this unit or so it seems, uh, four of them to be exact. Full function windows on the sides, not just the outward facing portion, but the sides of the slide outs. And frameless windows in many cases, we're gonna find those as we go along down the pike. Let's open things up here a little bit and take a peek on the inside here. Pin it open. Where do we start? Where do we start? Here's your auto level right there as simple and easy as can be motion activated lights oh no i'm sorry i lied these are puck lights in underneath here but you are going to have plenty of motion activated lights down the road here in just a little bit take a quick peek in your unified docking center in underneath here you've got oh wow i mean you've got it everything in here exterior shower of course you can use that for clearing off your feet from the sand on the beach or you know, hosing off your neighbor after he irritates you or you know, whatever, something, no, be nice. Uh, anyway, you do have coax connections in here, one over to the side there, and they're well labeled as well, and all sorts of valving configurations in there. Don't forget though, you don't have to worry too much about winterizing your unit because that's free with your Diamond Club membership, compliments of us here at Vicious RV. All right, here's your instructions for the auto level that we just saw a little bit ago right over on the side. Low point drains in here, and don't forget you do have the whole coach water filtration system. It's taken off because we've got our winterized right now, but that's where, you know, that's where it works. Uh, and your valve work as well is all in the heated interior bay for extended season peace of mind. Okay, slam latch doors in most cases on these ones. Over to here is where we've got never ending hot water. That's because we've got, well, the gas-fired uh, on-demand hot water system by Furion on there. 50 amp electric service. Well, of course, you would expect to see that, right? Well, hang on. Just wait. There's more. <laughs> we'll see. There is a lot more. Uh, down underneath here. Okay, here we've got our nitrogen-filled radial tires. They're going to be on the deluxe brushed aluminum rims down there. Sorry they're a little bit dirty, but the lot has been quite muddy as of late. Down underneath here, the CRE 3000 shackles on there for your running gear. Now, these are Cooper radial tires, too, by the way. Name brand Cooper tires there. And that is an upgrade that is on this particular uh, coach. The, those are H-rated tires, too, by the way, on the 17 and a half inch rims. Uh, level up. There's your level up jacks down underneath there. Now, when it comes time to dealing with this uh, Brazilian Anaconda here that we know of as the 50 amp electrical cord, never fear. They've got you covered right there. Powered cord reel right up there mounted in. Standard, just as you'd expect. Motion activated light in behind there. And there's a heat duct. Yeah, this is a heated bay. Well, that works particularly well when you don't have the doors wide open like we do today, but you know the drill, right? Slam latch doors on here. You have the uh, pressurized gas strut hold opens on there. Look at this storage. Wow, you're ready for the zombie apocalypse and then some. Here we go. Slide out tray on here as well by Mo Ride. We can slide it back in. It just rolls in as easy as can be. Oh, didn't give it quite enough momentum there. All right, now we've got it. And as I said, slam latch doors. Well, why not? Slam, boom, done. There you go. Down underneath here. Okay, class three hitch. And over to the side, your flat four. 
That means you are enabled to be able to tow something, a modest uh, uh, degree of something behind you. Always be aware though of DOT regulations regarding overall vehicle length, depending on what state you're in. Of course, that varies from state to state. All right, there's a look at the back. Uh, up on the top here, don't forget you are prepped for the easy addition of a rear vision backup camera on there, frameless windows right over there. And you've got the walk on roof with the ladder attached, all ready to go, zip, wop, boom, and away you go. Okay, I'm backing off out here to get a nice wide angle view of the camp side. Down underneath, again, here we go. Look at this storage. It's just holy Toledo. Yeah, baby, that's what we're talking about. And exterior, interior, doesn't matter. They're both GFCI protected electrical outlets, as you'd expect, down underneath. Let's take a peek underneath. LP, quick connect right underneath there. Now, these axles, let's talk a little bit about the axles. 7K axles on there with ABS. So we have the ABS brakes on there. That is an upgrade that's included on this particular unit, as are the Cooper tires that we talked about earlier, those H-rated tires on there. And here we go, solid piece, one piece staircase, and that is uh, assist staircase too. So when it comes to shutting that down, oh well, heck, you can shut that using your pinky alone because it has the uh, strut assisted closing on there. The assist entry handle, nice generous sized awning up here. And that's your porch light, scare light over there. These are all frameless windows again, I'll point out all across the campsite. Looks really awesome. And that's with the cool LED light strip light in behind here under the awning and the under effect lighting as well. I don't know if you can quite tell with the camera there, but trust me, it's got the awesome effect lighting underneath there. Now, spray port here. You can think in terms of keeping your awning clean as you're working on your unit. That's very convenient for you. Thick, thick doors. Look at the size of these doors here. They're not wimpy floppy things, not like boiling noodles or something. These are the real deal, the real McCoy. Additional storage in here. Yeah, if there wasn't enough to store the zombie apocalypse in the back, you've got it up front here too. <laughs> Plenty to work with. Whole coach, now they're talking the, uh, the whole coach vacuum right under here. That's where the rubber meets the road for that. Here's solar charge, or let's see here. Is that the inverter or the solar charge? I'm having trouble seeing with the light on it right there. At any rate, controls right through there. You also are pre uh, prepped for the easy addition of the external TV. That's where that would hook up and go. And down underneath your battery cutoff kill switch and your tire link, uh, the, the module holder right there, because you are set up for the easy addition of tire link to monitor your tire pressure from the cab of the truck or wherever you happen to be at the time. Exterior sound and interior sound by Rockford Fosgate to boot. That will take care of most of our outdoor accoutrements stepping onto the inside with another reminder this comes to you compliments of Bish's RV of the Quad Cities. Now looking on the inside this unit has it features the linen interior decor. Linen decor is featured on here. Now other decor options may be available simply inquire regarding the availability of those other colors because we go through quite a few of them here at Vicious RV of the Quad Cities. Okay, where do we start? Wow. Just took a quick look around the living room here. Tell you what, let's open things up here. Here is your one touch control panel. And if you're not into doing things on a touch screen basis, I mean, the real cool thing is turn all the lights off with one touch. Boop. Just like that almost all of them okay yeah all right i wasn't yeah didn't mean to lie but all back on just like that real cool up to here is your systems monitor panel there water pump controls tank heat which is included on this unit again that's another little upgrade that is included on here's a 12 volt tank heat included on this particular unit porch light awning lights oh the whole nine yards there you go slide out controls for all the slide outs plus your awning control too all right enough with all the pedantic stuff like that let's get into the fun cool stuff all right we saw one of two fold out sofas with the cup holders on there very nice tall slide outs there elegant balances under which you have those modernistical roller shades there 
and you can pull them down and if you release them they'll just gently go up they won't go snapping and flapping and raising all kinds of cane when the kids try and annoy you don't worry about that thermostat there's for the furnace and for the air conditioning units plural units all right this is the electric recline uh wall away recline seats that are on there these are theater seats and over to here with another sleeper sofa okay up and above remember at rockford falls gate for the sound on here and there's part of it down to here about a 50 inch maybe 48 inch flat screen hd tv mounted on the wall all ready to go here's your rockford falls gate sound module on here from which you have your am fm uh bluetooth is on there plus usb there's usb uh data inputs on it as well all right the fireplace as beautiful as it is elegant about 5,000 btus of supplemental heat don't want to run the furnace no big worry just use the fireplace i don't know where to go next let's start with up here everyone's favorite room the hangout where well you got two sinks so more than one can hang out at once so that is if you're washing hands anyway here's the china porcelain foot flush marine grade stool Here's our teak wood fold away uh, shower seat. About a 10 inch step to get up and into the shower pan. In there, full shower surround goes all the way up and the skylight overhead. This would be the multi purpose. Holy cow! I mean, this is the Niagara Falls of showers right here. We're talking all kinds of options there, plus the wand over here. I almost forgot the wand. Don't want to forget the wand. And look at the accommodations here at the sink. I'm purposely panning down. You don't want to see my bald noggin. Okay, up over to here. Medicine cabinets are on the sides. Hey, but that's okay. Who am I to judge? And the ceiling, the vent fan. Don't forget the vent. On into the bedroom. King bed. Woo! It's like the 3D LE. Never mind. Anyway, that's an, an upgrade on this particular one the king bed upgrade you do have the little shelves on the side to help accommodate the fact that you wouldn't otherwise have an, a bedside table for a king bed upgrade on the king slide in here all right over on the side here you have charge ports for charging your cell phone at night easily within cord distance of the side uh, shelf same thing applies over on this side as well just as a little heads up on that three windows with the roller shades on there. And again, air conditioning. Um, and one of them, and I wanna say this one, I may be wrong. One of them has the heat pump option, which is installed on here. The third AC, uh, which is a 15K uh, AC, by the way, includes the heat pump. And that's an option on this particular unit. Bed TV is already installed. You don't have to monkey around. It's right there. You can lift here. I'm not going to do that here and now. But anyway, there's plenty of neat storage on underneath here. Uh, in addition to the pull-out drawers, egress window on there. Into here, I purposely left this kind of cattywampus, all sorts of happy haywire, so that you can kind of see what's going on with... Yeah, now we're talking you are prepped for the easy addition of an all-in-one washer and dryer. Well, heck, you know, I bet you could almost fit a stackable. Better ask one of the boys of the bullpen about that just to make sure. But there's plenty of room in that closet. Additional closet over to the side here. And let's call her quits for the bedroom. Take a look. Go the other way. We'll take a peek from this angle. I won't go too fast with it because this is really cool to see. Lots of neat stuff. Here's the upside down box that says at least your, but uh, really it's tire link if you read it the forward way. Anyway, that's your tire link hardware that's to equip you, as I said before, so you can easily monitor your tire pressure from within the cab of the truck on the fly. This is cool. This is a neat little breakfast nook here, or whatever you want to call it. All ready to go, set up with the chairs there. Here's a residential size microwave with the brushed, um, actually it's stainless steel, brushed stainless steel finish on it. There, counter space, counter space, counter space. Need I say more? Well, you know me, I can't shut up. Uh, over to the sink here. 
let's point out that you've got max air vent fans on here. Those are with the rain sensor function on them. Starts to rain, if you forgot it open or what have you, don't sweat, no big deal. It will sense that and shut it down, shut the louver on it. You won't have a wet floor and blame the dog at the end of the day. Okay, opening up the sink here. These are solid surface countertops and very nice ones too at that. Uh, recessed mounted sink, which makes them easier to clean and to maintain. It's a, it's kind of like a one and a half bowl sink in here. Uh, it'd be kind of hard to wash the baby in here to get a crick in his neck, but uh, with a little divider in there, I'll call it a one and a half bowl sink. High rise faucet with the spray attachment nozzle action on it right through there. All right, let's get around the corner here and take a peek at the refrigerator. First of all, we'll take a big old wide angle look at it from here. Okay, the refrigerator. This is a, as I'm desperately looking, 20 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. And let's open it up here and take a peek at it from this angle. There's the controls, by the way. And I bet it's not going to want to stay open for me. Nope, we're just a little bit unlevel in here. But anyway, that's a look at the refrigerator. Those are the travel locks in there. The little black round knobs there. Shut the refrigerator down. Down below. Pull out. Freezer. Oh, but wait. There's more. There's a whole lot more. How about that? Tons and tons and tons of freezer space in there. Do I see an ice maker? Why, I wasn't even ready for that. Miracle of miracles. So there you go. I wasn't prepared for the ice maker. I don't know if that's, I imagine that's standard with that particular refrigerator. Okay, anyway, on over to the chef inspired stove here. And that's a four burner, including the little bitty simmer burner over here. And that's an exterior ducted vented range hood, just as you would have at home. That's kind of exciting, isn't it? And, no, it's not, really, I know. Uh, the oven below with the oven light, as you would expect, and a very nice backsplash in behind it there. Motion-activated lighting, where else? Why not in the pantry here? Oh, no, I'm sorry, I lied. It's not motion-activated, but it is lit. And that's where I, I shouldn't have opened that. That's where I threw some extra junk. Anyway, that's the pantry area through there. Woo! Man, I think we've covered everything in here, hopefully. I'm going to double check things. Oh, you know what? I forgot to mention, we've got the Solitude Residential Living Package installed on here. It comes with it, which includes a lot of these little things that we've mentioned before. The roller shades, the quad entry steps, the key to like system. We didn't mention that. 30,000 BTU, which is two times of two 15K ACs. Blah. Anyway, on to the Solitude Peace of Mind Package. That's included as well as the Solitude WeatherTech package and the Solitude Max Built Construction package. Now you can look those up online on the website or whatever to get all the rest of the details. The central vacuum system, hey, you know right where the central vac, right where the rubber meets the road is right down underneath there. There's a connection to your left of the screen and on the bottom is the kick pan, dust pan. Real cool. Wow, we covered the refrigerator, the 20 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. We covered that all. Blah, blah, blah. The 12 volt tank heaters are optional. So are the six point hydraulic leveling system that's included on this one. These are all included on here. The Cooper tires, the king bed upgrade, the third AC with the heat pump. Wow, the 7K axles with ABS brakes and the solar package. That's a mouthful. Whew. All right, with that, we're going to sign off and call our quits in here inside this 2023 Solitude model number 390RK. And another final reminder, this presentation comes to you by way of Bish's RV of the Quad Cities. We'll see you around. Happy trails.